Oh boy, here we're gonna be graphing some exponential functions. Oh man, this is gonna be some rough stuff. Not really. This thing graphs just like everything else. What do you mean? I mean, as long as you know the special form, you can shift it. If it's in the X group, it goes left and right. If it's outside the X group, it goes up and down. Uh-huh, here we go. We'll talk about some flips later. Um, this is the basic shape for um, an exponential function with a base that's bigger than one. Okay. We see as x increases, the function goes up exponentially. This is the graph of a function. I renamed it y. Why? Because you can. Okay, I took it out of the function notation. I like to flip-flop just so you know that you can flip-flop. Um, this is an exponential equation where the base is in between 0 and 1. Uh-huh. Yeah, when it's in between 0 and 1, you're getting this fraction. And when you repeatedly square, triple, quadruple, to the tenth time, to the millionth time, this fraction is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And this is the exponential decay that we see here. Yes, there's a couple of things that you need to notice about these. We have special points. This is when x is equal to zero. When x is equal to zero, what happens to this? Anything to the zero power is one. Yes. So this is going to be um, zero, one in this case. Yes. Now over here, this one also has that very same special point, zero, one. Uh-huh, because anything to the zero power is one. These things also have asymptotes, horizontal asymptotes right here. It starts out to be x is equal to, nope, shorten up that leg, y is equal to zero. And this one says y is equal to zero. These are the things we're going to be shifting. Let's go ahead on our first example. I'm up here, say, yes. First, we need to determine, is this bigger than one or smaller than one? This is bigger than one, so it's going to be upward sloping. Yes. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to find out what makes the exponent zero. OK. Minus one makes the exponent zero. So I'm going to put that there. Why? Because I'm trying to find three points to graph this guy. This is gonna be where my special point is gonna happen. Okay, yes. Um, to, the, to the one smaller is minus two, to the one bigger is zero. Now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put those up in my function. Minus two makes this a minus one, two to the minus one is one half. Um, minus one, minus one in here, that makes that zero, two to the zero is Two to the zero is one. Because anything to the zero power is one. Okay. And then I put zero in here. Okay. This is two. Oh. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plot those. One, two, one, two, one, two. Here, my x is minus two and my y is one half. That's that spot right there. Here, my x is minus one and my y is one. That's that spot right here. Here, my x is zero and my y is two. That's that spot right there. Now I make it look like I know what it's gonna look like. Can you do Take it down here. Okay. Yeah. So what makes my, oh, uh, first, my base bigger than one or smaller than one? Here, my base is bigger than one, so I know it's going to be upward sloping. What makes my exponent zero? Zero. Choose one less, choose one more. Put that in there, sure. X is equal to minus one, that's gonna be half. Half minus one is minus one half. Really? Uh-huh, okay. Put a zero there, one minus one is zero. Nice. Um, here, put a one up there. Two minus one is one, fun. So then I graph those points. One, 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 one. X is minus one. Y is minus half, right there. Um, zero, zero, right there. One, one, right there. My asymptote's gonna be here, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. 
make it look like that. That brings me over here. Uh-oh. Is my base bigger than one or smaller than one? Here my base is smaller than one, so I'm going to be downward sloping. What makes that exponent zero? Minus one makes that exponent zero. Okay, so I put a minus one up here. Oh, one less is minus two. One more is zero. Mm -hmm. So I put a minus two up here. This is going to be a minus one in the exponent. That minus one in the exponent is going to take the reciprocal of this. And I'm looking at four plus two, which is hmm, six. Yes. Now I put a minus one up here. That's zero. Anything to the zero power is one. One and two is three. Tee tee. I put a zero up here. This is going to be one fourth plus. 2, I'm just going to say 2 and 1 fourth to um, stave off adding those fractions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yes. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, okay. So then when my x is minus 2, my function is 6. When my x is minus 1, my function is 3. When my x is 0, my function is 2 and a quarter, okay. And this is going to have an asymptote right there, but I'll explain that later. Mm -hmm. Now I'm over here. Cool. Um, um, um. This needs work. Okay. Same base, you multiply the exponents. I can write this 3 to the minus 1 to the x plus 2. Right? Right? If I had the same base and I'm multiplying, ah, dag. Um, if I have a power raised to a power, I multiply. So these two guys are the same thing. So then this is one third to the x plus 2. Oh, okay. So now is my base bigger than? No, it's smaller than 1. So I know it's going to be downward sloping. So I look at this exponent. Okay. What makes it 0? Minus 2 makes it 0. Choose one less, minus three. Choose one more, minus one. When this is a minus three, that's a minus one, and this is a three, tee hee. Go ahead, work those out on yourself. Um, when this is a minus two, um, this whole dang thing is zero, and anything to the zero power is one. When this is a minus one, that exponent is one. So then, that's a one third. Let's graph it, graph it. Here, one, two, three, one, two, three. When one, two, three, one, two, three, we know it's going to be downward sloping. So then, at minus three, this is three. At minus two, this is one. At minus one, this is a third. And it's going to have an asymptote right there. I'll explain that in a minute. Then we come up here. Okay. Woo. Ah, yes. Remember when we were doing polynomials and you had a minus on the outside and it flipped everything? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, this is going to be upward sloping, but then we're going to flip it. So it's going to be downward sloping like that. Oh. So we do see that we have this exponential that should be going like this, flipped over the axis. Okay. Let's go around this thing. Uh-huh. I first decide the shape. Okay. Okay. Then this moves it left or right. This moves it up or down. Here we see this standard shape shifted one to the left because it goes opposite the way you think if it's in the X group. So I took my special point and I moved it left. I drew that, I was done. Now I'm down here. Okay, this is gonna shift the whole thing down one. So then, so then I took my standard exponent and I dropped it down one. That's what happened to my asymptote. Okay, because that was outside of the X group. It goes down one. Now I'm over here and I'm putting it all together. I choose the basic shape. This says move left one. Up, two, left, one. Up, two. Make your shape. Your asymptote also shifted up two. Yes. That's y is equal to two. Now I'm coming over here. Yes. Um, I had to get it in a familiar form. Then it was downward sloping, shifted left two. Downward shoping, sloping, shifted left two. There's your special point right there. Was there now here? Uh huh. Up here. There we go. We flip it, then we move it. We flipped it, and it doesn't shift left or right. It doesn't shift up or down. So it was just a flip standard. Okay. So let's take a look. 
at this. And it really went full circle. Thank you.